Carnales de Soundcheck, nos encontramos aquí en el Distrito Federal con una banda que ha tenido un exitosísimo material discográfico. Está de visita aquí. Es un placer para mí poder platicar con Vampire Weekend, first of all. Uh, thank you very much for the time of this interview. It's an honor to talk with you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Cool. Now, uh, the album, it was a, a successful, a really, really big, big album around the world. Even though, wait, even though they don't sell it in Mexico. No, no, but it's, it's, it's big. I mean, all the songs are, are really big. Why do you think that is the key? that became that big this album I mean I'll be honest I'm I've been surprised by how big it was like when we first started out I never thought that we would have you know toured all over the world and, and had, had this many fans but I think one one reason that people like it is because we made it ourselves you know we, we finished the album before we even had a record label so I think people like to hear music that I don't know maybe doesn't have too many hands crafting because you know some music you can tell had like too many people working on it and And maybe it doesn't really have that much uh, of the band spirit in it, but but I think with us, you know. And how hard was to start taking seriously, like, okay, we're in the cover of a spin, even if the album is not uh, released, and it's a best new band. Uh, how hard is to to realize that and say, oh fuck, I mean, it's <laughs> getting bigger. I, I think for us, we we kind of yeah. <laughs> we made a fucking decision yeah. that that we were. We were not going to be one of those bands that's that's afraid of success, you know. Because I guess some some bands feel like like their audience should be small and that certain people shouldn't like their music. But the truth is, we're just as happy to have like somebody who knows a lot about music like like us as to have like a kid who's 13 years old and and really is only just starting to listen to bands. So we decided anything that shows people our music is is probably a good thing. So now. Um I guess you're you're preparing uh, a new album after this success. How big of a responsibility is to start a new one when the last one it was that huge? <laughs> yeah, you want me to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, we've had a l we've had a few questions like that, but I don't think we're I don't think we're worried about c comparing okay. one to the other, and we're definitely going to make a very different album for the second one but hopefully it's going to be better that's the goal better cool. and different cool that's you that's know? i think i think ultimately it's just it's fun you know we're lucky that we get to make music cool. so and also this time on like the first time we know people are looking forward to hearing our music so that's very exciting cool now um here here in latin america there is four songs that are really really big Uh, of your album, and I would like to ask you each one of you uh, the songs and and the first thing that come to through your mind. Uh, starting with with the Mansard Roof. Mansard Roof. Oh yeah, uh, that song was kind of came together. We Ezra had kind of had the main verse part, and Rossum had the the chorus part from, and we kind of combined them. And uh, I think the secret to that song is is uh, <laughs> that's my signature drum beat. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is very uh, indebted to Latin rhythms. Yeah. I won't uh, make any bones about that. Uh, and <laughs> and yeah, I, I, don't, I think that, that that's the drum beat to me is was uh, when we said we wanted a reggaeton kind of a reggaeton <laughs> sounding beat, but really fast. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> but really fast. So that was cool. that's what pops into my mind. For cool. Mystery. Now uh, Oxford comma. Um, Oxford comma to me. That really just kind of reminds me of the early days of our band because we played that at our very first show and that that really was one of our, the first songs we ever worked on. So I feel like on that song was kind of when we started maybe to, I don't know, started to put together our own style. It's one of the first songs we all like worked on together. So when I hear that song, kind of takes me back to, to when we were first starting out in college. Cool. Now, uh, Cape Cod, Kwasa Kwasa. I also think that one's kind of associated with the early days. I remember the first time we played it was at an outdoor concert that was very, very cold and our <laughs> fingers were freezing. So maybe <laughs> every time we play it, I think of that a little bit. Cool. Now, A-Punk? Well, yeah, A-Punk is the song that I always thought, you know, if we could get one song on the radio, it would be A-Punk. And I had to convince these guys. <laughs> <laughs> But hopefully, I mean, some radio stations play it, so that's good. How do you decide it? It's like a democracy, like you have votes, or is one that is like... I think, <laughs> what, I, th I think that all of us, for the most part, are on the same wavelength. And it's just a matter of, of 
helping each other understand how much we are on the same wavelength. Because you know? <laughs> we actually, we, we agree about, about almost everything. Cool. Now, um, you, uh, a couple of times uh, before, you did, a, you did a cover for Radiohead in a th tribute to OK Computer. Uh, what could be the most important thing that you admire about Radiohead? The evolution, I would say. What I kind of agree with that. Yeah, I think just like Rustin was saying, that we want our next album to be better and different. Radiohead's probably one of the best examples of a band that every album was in some way better and always different. So uh, a lot of times successful bands, I mean too many successful bands, keep doing the same thing because they want to keep being successful. But Radiohead yeah. was successful by doing different things, so that's great. Cool. Now... No? <laughs> okay. We <laughs> uh, covered it. Uh, talki talking about uh, before Vampire Weekend, Le Home Run, uh, what could be the best thing that you keep from that time, from that adventure? From that? Well, okay. <laughs> so, Le Home Run, uh, probably because nobody knows, was just like my rap group in college. And the truth is, <laughs> CT uh, played guitar and DJ <laughs> for it, and Ross Tam like, helped produce it when we recorded it. Um, To me, I think that for Lone Run, because I was a rap group, that was like a time in my life when I really started thinking more about lyrics. Because I've been writing yeah. songs, all of us have been writing songs since we were little kids, but I w think we've all gotten better at it. And from a lyrics point of view, I think, I think like listening to rap and rapping like gave me certain ideas. And, and which uh, even though we're not a rap group, I still maybe carry it with me. Cool, cool. Now, um, uh, about uh, side projects, do you have, I know you have side projects, uh, do you have other side projects to do? I know you have uh, like something about jazz, right? <laughs> <laughs> I read it, I read it I'm somewhere. Jazz. Oh, oh, okay. Now, I, there, there's a time I used to... Did you play saxophone or something? Yeah, yeah, I do play saxophone. Maybe I'll play a little saxophone on this album. There was a time uh, before Vampire Weekend when I played in like a really noisy, harsh, like jazz band was okay. like <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was about but it but right now you, you don't have any any I side project you have uh, it was it's been going on for a really long time but we just finished a record and i'm really excited about it i don't want to say too much cool i'm i'm really excited about it not the name uh It's called Discovery. Okay, that's no, that's that's great. That's great. You have to discover that. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh also do do you watch the movie The Wrestler? Yes. Uh, do you watch Not the just the, watch your, your, the cover of of Vampire Weekend? Uh, how, how how do you feel when you when you saw it? You, you knew it before. Yeah, Did you watch it? We yeah we we knew that we knew there was gonna be the poster because they asked our label. Yeah. You know, like movies take such a long time to make that we knew it was this movie and we knew that Darren Aronofsky made it. But you know, then like by the time it came out, it was such a long time later. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. I mean, I. To me, that was one of the best movies of the year, and I was yeah. I was sad. Make that your Rick rules. I was sad that he didn't win the Academy I Award, know. but Sean Penn was good too. Yeah, but he won already one. That's yeah, that's true. But yeah, I just thought like it was an incredible performance. It also took place in New Jersey, where both of us are from. Cool. And I thought it was an accurate portrayal of certain parts of the state. It was just like a very real movie, I think. Cool. Now the last question was next for for 2009. Are you going to travel around the world? You do you have plans to participate in big festivals? Um, we're starting to think about the summer, but the truth is, this is kind of like our Mexican tour is really our only tour that we're doing at the first half of this year because what we're really busy on is, is making the album. Yeah. So starting in January, we've been recording, so we didn't go on tour at all. We were in home recording until March, then we came here in Mexico, and even while we were in Mexico, we did some recording in Mexico City. So cool. our main thing is uh, is to just keep working on it. Cool. Well, thank you very much. It's an honor to talk with you. Congratulations. Your album is fucking awesome. I really like Thanks, it. Thanks, man. So, ya lo checaron, gran banda Vampire Weekend. Eh, vamos a continuar con más este, en Telehit, pero aquí en el programa ya nos despedimos, hermanos. Hay que les decía, Leva, esto fue Soundcheck. Yeah.